I think the main thing, um, not only myself, but the coaches like to see is just the defense playing together. Um, just lining up, you know, the offense is going to go fast like they do. So just lining up and playing football, just getting the fundamental part of it down, not panicking is a big thing that, you know, I think the coaches, both offense and defense, you know, SIP coaches would like to see just playing football for once, you know, and not just going out there and just going blind. When you look back at this spring now that we're approaching the final spring game, what have you learned from your new position coach, Kevin Patrick, the most the biggest takeaway? The biggest takeaway is uh, you don't get these practices back. Uh, that's one thing that I've learned this spring compared to last spring is um, you're not going to get, you know, your sophomore spring back. You know, you got to take advantage of every opportunity you have. We only have 15 practices. And, um, you know, he always tells me don't go through the motions because you're either getting better or you're getting worse. I know uh, Andre didn't play that much in Midland. Or what do you kind of expect to see from him, especially with, uh, like you said, the limited amount of practices you guys have to get better just to kind of kind of mesh? Oh, Pip will, uh, you know, he'll be a full goal on Saturday. I'm excited to have him in there. You know, just to have depth on the D-line is, is so important, especially in this conference uh, with the offenses we have, like us and TCU and Baylor, you know, just to have guys to rotate in, you know, and the offense is, you know, extending those drives. So to have Pip in there with Broderick, those two at nose, uh, Big Mike coming in the summer, it's going to be nice, you know, to have that rotation. And I guess for you, I guess who would be kind of seen kind of step in on the defensive line and who's kind of impressed you so far? I think Colin Hill, uh, Gary Moore, and uh, Broderick Washington, you know, along with Andre Pipkins. Uh, I think those guys, you know, like I've mentioned before, uh, they're really good guys to play around, great personalities on and off the field. And, you know, those are the kind of guys that when I get on the field, I feel I can play for them. What about a guy like Taylor Nunez? He, he was someone who, you know, at least from what I remember last fall, was, you know, pushing for a starting job before yep. he got injured. What, what's he kind of brought to the table? You know, I think everybody forgets about Taylor uh, because he, you know, he was injured, uh, you know, knock on wood. You know, he suffered a, uh, a season-ending injury last year. but. Taylor's a guy that he can play nose, he can play tackle, he can play in. Um, he's a utility guy, and he's a hard worker. Uh, one of the smartest guys in the room. I think people forget about him, but you know, coming on this season, I think he's more hungry, uh, recovering from that injury, and I think he's ready to go. Having a Big 12 season under your belt, uh, what has been the biggest area of improvement for you that you've seen in yourself this offseason or this spring? I think adjusting to the speed of the game. Um, the Big 12 is a lot different. I've Just in my one year playing, it goes fast. And the Big 12 offenses, they're not going to wait for you to line up. They're not going to, you know, you got your play ready, we're ready to go. You know, they're going to line up, go. Once they have their check, once they have their call, and they're going to go. The biggest thing for me was just adjusting to the speed of the game. Um, you know, I'm not where I want to be yet. You know, I still have a long ways to go, but I feel like I'm taking steps to where I need to be come fall. What are some of those areas that you feel like you do still want to improve on and see some growth? Uh, one of the areas I feel like I need to improve on is, you know, just understanding what offenses do, uh, not just going out to the game blind. You know, if I can understand what they're going to do, that's half the game. You know, half the game is mental. And if you win that part, then, you know, physical parts, it's not, it's not too much of a big deal for me. I, kind of one, come, one more for Raiden. Kind of coming into your second year, what's it been like kind of going against, a, I guess, not as an experienced offensive line compared to where last year was a lot more experienced? Uh, you know, I think everybody, um, you know, kind of gets this deal that our offensive line is, uh, is young and, and you know, not experienced, but they've been, you know, surprisingly this spring, they've been really good. Um, they've been hard workers, they've been grinders. Uh, Balen Brown leading that bunch as a senior. I feel like Balen's got those guys going on that side, especially with Tony Morales. Um, with the young guys like Terrence and Madison stepping up, I feel like the offensive line is in good hands this year.